Now, let's make this data more realistic, because having this such data is look not so good. To do that, we're gonna be using a library called Faker, which is already installed by default when you create new Laravel project. If we open composer.json, you'll see in required F section this Faker library. Alright, before we implement the Faker library in our seeder, let me show you how to use it in Tinker. I'll switch to a term, then open Tinker. To use the Faker library, here we need to import the Faker library namespace. After that, we can instantiate a Faker instance. Now, if I want to create fake name, I can call faker name. Here I get back a name. If I do the same thing, here I get different name. If I want to get a fake address, I can say faker address. I can also call faker random digit sorry digit to get a random number from 0 to 9 if I don't want to have a certain number I can use faker random digit not, let's say, 5. To get a random word, I can say faker word or random words by calling words. But this will return an array. We can also get a sentence by calling faker sentence or faker sentences to get an array of sentences. We can also call faker text to get random long text, or we can adjust the maximum text length by providing number as argument. So that's a brief information about faker. You can see more details information about Faker library and other commands by entering this link. Now, let's implement Faker in our seeder file. Here in product seeder, firstly, we need to import the Faker namespace. Then here, let's create a Faker instance. Next, we can change the name's value with Faker sentence. For price, we can still use PSP random function, or we can replace it with Faker random digit not zero. Alright, let's do a similar thing to category seeder. Import the faker namespace. Create a faker instance. And then change this to faker text. Maybe 20 is enough. Now let's keep this safe. 
go to our terminal and run the DB set again. PSP artisan migrate colon fresh that's the seed. Okay, now if we refresh the table, now we have more realistic data. Alright, so now that you know how to insert fake data in your database table programmatically using Seeder, and you also know how to generate realistic fake data using Faker Library. In the next one, we're gonna learn about Eloquent that will make working with database more easier and more elegant.